Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review and wear test a new foundation from Makeup Revolution. Oh yes, I have four different shades. I have number four, six, seven and eight and I'm going to swatch all of them and I'm going to put that foundation on my skin and I'm going to wear it all day and of course I'm going to do check-ins. If you want to see that, please keep on watching. Okay, so really when I do this intro, it's late at night. So I already had the foundation on the whole day. This is the packaging and it's a very nice feeling to the packaging. It's plastic, but it's matte. I don't know. It's a very nice feeling. I love it. So this rose gold, that's my favorite shade. So this is how much the product you actually get. I don't know how much foundation you get, but this is how it looks. Very nice foundation. Looks like doesn't smell anything special. I'm going to do swatches. This is number four. And it's a light with pink undertone. That's number four. Then we have number number six. And this one is more like a beige with the yellow undertone. Then we have number seven. And the seven is actually what I have on my skin right now. And this one has also like pink undertone. But when I applied seven on my face, it actually looked like a, it was a lot of yellow undertone. On the swatch, it doesn't look that like that. It looks more like pink undertone. I don't even either have a yellow or pink undertone. I have neutral. So on my skin, this foundation looked a little bit too yellow, but I did set it with powder. So it looks like this. And I kind of like how it looks right now. But this is number seven and number eight. So it's this a little bit darker. So four, six, seven, and eight. And I have to say it's a very creamy formula. It's uh, very easy to blend. It's a little bit like a dry formula, but I have com combo skin. I'm oily in thin zone and dry everywhere else. And it worked on my skin. It looks nice. It was easy to blend. It's actually more like medium coverage, but you can build it up to this full coverage. It is. I can't feel this foundation on my skin right now. You have to see the whole video so you understand. Because when I was applying it this morning, it didn't really turn out like I thought it would. But I made it. I made it through day. I replied it. And I like it. If you want to see how this holds up for the day, please keep on watching. I'll do the same thing as I do with uh, my other foundations right now. I'll take a little bit of this IDC Color Makeup Smoothing Primer. Really like this um, around my nose where I have those big pores. I feel like this minimizes those. And it's pink, cute. So let's get this. I have four shades. The best color of all foundations that I have for me it's this 2C3 Fresco from Estee Lauder. So I'm going to see if any of these matches matches this foundation. So this is Estee Lauder and this is number eight, number six. This is number seven. And number four is this one. So I don't know really. I think um, so. I'll take seven and four, uh, uh, four under my eyes, and seven all around my face, and see if I need to go in with the other shade. <clears throat> so I don't think any of these really has that undertone, uh, neutral undertone. But we'll see. We'll use this. I know I didn't even see on website. The lighter shade with neutral undertone. 
Oh, it feels creamy. I know. Is this enough? And now I'm going to put this shade. Mm, well, let's go with that. I think I want to go a little bit with number eight too. No, this is six. Oh my God, wrong shade. Where is number eight? I had number eight. That was number eight. I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Let's start blending. I think I'm going to use the blend, uh, beauty blender on this side and the brush on the other side. And we'll see. Wait, let's try the light shade first. I think the Beauty Blender did an amazing job with blending this foundation. But I think that I should um, do like one color first and then put the light shade under. I kind of feel like it didn't really blend it beautifully, but we'll see. Let's try the brush. Feels like I have to drag this foundation around, and I really don't like how it looks. Let let me zoom in. So I don't know if you can see, but the foundation on my pores just sits over, and you can see how it looks cakey. But here with the beauty blender, it just melted into the skin, and here just sits bad. So I'm going to do the face with the beauty blender. So I think I'm going. I'm going over with the beauty blender because I want this to melt into my skin instead of just sitting. And the stick foundation is a little bit more dry formula, so beauty blender that's a little bit wet. I think that works the best. That's just my opinion. Maybe you can use an oil instead of under the, your foundation, or if you use a brush, I do not know. But I prefer this beauty blender. Well, oh my god. I feel like I don't have enough foundation on my skin. I mean, I don't, not for the coverage. The coverage is amazing. I like it. It feels very light. It feels like I don't have anything on my skin. And it feels like I'm blending nothing. <laughs> because it feels very light. I really like that. Actually, I like the color. Let's take it more here. There, and number six. I'm mixing foundations. Haha. <laughs> I hope they will come with more neutral uh, undertones for the lighter shades. Because I don't think I found any lighter shade that says neutral undertone. I think the deeper shades has that. But I may be wrong. They were maybe out of stock when I was buying this on Tan Beauty, but the 8 is not bad. I mean, more bronzer on my neck and I'll be fine. Makeup Revolution, of course. But look, this looks a little bit dark right now. Huh? And number three. Wow, it blends beautiful over the foundation. 
I can say it's not bad color. I mean, it's a little bit yellow, uh, more, more yellow undertone than I would like. I'm kind of confused with the shade. They have amazing shade ra range, but it looks like none of these matches perfectly. But I wish I had all of them so I can play with them. And I wish I could have them here in the stores in Sweden so I can really swatch all the shades. And uh, now I did uh, buy four shades and if I match them, that don't look bad, but if this is supposed to be fast foundation, so I don't know if it's fast if I have to mix all the shades so I can find the best shade for me. I do not really know if that's fast, but oh my god, this sits like a dream. This is my skin. Flawless! Okay, now I'm, I have to hurry a little bit. I'm going to fix my rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So guys, now I did finish my makeup and um, I feel like I have medium coverage. Uh, foundation, it, it did blend beautifully on my skin, on my face, except on my nose. So when I was putting powder, I saw that the foundation kind of uh, getting very cakey here on the center of my nose. So I did remove foundation over there and I reapplied it. Still doesn't really look nice. I think it's the primer. I do not know. I think it's... I, I really like this primer, but I feel like this foundation doesn't really want to go together with this primer. So I will have to try this foundation one day, one more day using another primer and see if it, if it's going to work better and maybe put more coverage, more foundation on my skin actually, because I feel like I don't really have enough satisfying coverage here around or under my eyes here on my cheek, not cheek, but here on my nose and down here, I feel like I should have more, but it looks nice. It looks flawless everywhere else. The makeup went beautifully over except this part here. It, the bronzer didn't really want to blend beautifully as normal. So I, I mean, I don't know, I don't think it's the foundation because it did blend beautifully everywhere else except this part. So I um, will try to exfoliate my skin uh, tonight before I go to bed and uh, put a nice moisturizer on during the night and then try to reply the foundation. So now I'm going to go and fix my hair before I go. It's almost 20 past 7 in the morning and I have to hurry for to go to job and I'll do check-in after work. So see you then. Bye. Okay, hi everyone. I'm back. It's almost seven o'clock at evening and I had this foundation for around 10, 11 hours and it's time for me to remove my glasses and see how it looks. So I do have a little bit like a cold. So I am, I was, uh, using a tissue today a lot uh, so the foundation around my nose down here is gone but then I have a reason why and I was holding my chin a lot so foundation around there is gone too but it does uh, look a little bit cakey on the nose it doesn't look bad now like it did this morning when I tried to reapply it again I am oily so we need to fix that faster I'm going to use these and try to remove some oil. So there is some lines here where I had my glasses, but otherwise it looks nice. I still have my highlighter on, my blush, my bronzer. Uh, everything looks okay. Uh, it looks nice here around my pores. So I do like how this foundation worked on and it stayed on my skin the whole day. I'm kind of very surprised. Now I do want to take off this makeup and try to reapply the foundation just to see if I can build up the coverage because it looks beautiful right now. I think so. And uh, I did get a lot of compliments during the day that my skin looked very nice, but it's not enough <laughs> coverage for me. I didn't use a lot of the foundation, so I do want to try to um, put it on again just to see if I can build up the coverage. So this morning I've used this primer to face on my face on all over my face and I did use this one in my T-zone but it kind of creases a lot on my nose so I'm not going to use that primer 
I'm actually going to use the, my favorite primer, but it's a very expensive one. Rodeo Instant Glam Airbrush Primer. Love this primer. But I broke this one. It does not work. Nope. So I have to take it out like this. So I'll take that primer. That's nice. I'm going to take number seven. Now let's see how that works on my skin. Let's try to blend it now with the brush. Brush, <laughs> beauty blender. I am tired. And it dries down very fast. It's very dry formula. It's a little bit yellow, but and it looks very nice on my nose. Okay, let's take more of that foundation and see if we can build it up. Forgot to show you, but this is how much you get of the product in here. Okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to film, but it's not my day today. It looks like it. First, my battery is empty. Then the camera stopped filming for some reason. Then the card is full. God, I'm back. And I did put a second layer of this foundation. And it's a little bit, like I said before, a little bit too yellow for me. But whatever, let's go past that and see exactly how it looks. I think I can't feel that I have a foundation on. It's very light, but I do have a lot of foundation. But guys, look how nice it looks on my nose right now and on my chin. And how it looks very nice and smooth. So I do agree, it's a very fast foundation. And uh, now it is a medium coverage. You can build it up like I did to full coverage. coverage and uh, it's fast exactly what they claim to be and i i am going to finish my makeup look and i'll be right back i'm back Woo! makeup's done okay uh i really i i f do feel like that i have makeup on of course and always my nose is itching always when I fin finish my makeup for some reason, likes to mess with me. But I really, really like how this foundation looks right now on my skin. It looks like my skin, actually. I uh, didn't like the undertone of that uh, number seven. It was a little bit too yellow, but I did. I set my makeup and my concealer with this side of this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette all over my face and I kind of like this shade right now it looks nice not complaining uh, I don't usually set all my face with that shade but for some reason when I was putting it under my eyes I kind of liked how shade looked and that's what I did so bronzer blush highlighter and I'm done impressed I love this foundation I really really like it and the when I was wearing it today it was it wasn't the full coverage but it stayed on very nice all of all day I did look a little bit shiny but not terrible like I can do and I, I was outside a lot and it is very very windy in Sweden here it's very cold it's very real windy almost like storm today and it was a very bad weather so it hold up pretty good I was cakey in the morning when I was applying the foundation, but I think it was the primer, so I won't use that primer with this foundation again. But right now, with this radial primer, it looks very nice, really very nice. It looks nice on my nose. I do have a lot of highlighter on my nose. It looks nice everywhere. It looks like my skin, but better. So give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.